Hello and welcome to Streaming Session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today in one of the new features in Mudbox 2010. It's based on the map extraction. So if we are one of the people like me who are used to work with Mudbox 1, there was an option when you extract maps that you say I want to extract the maps, for example, between level 3 and level 4. And uh, in 2009 that option was gone and now back in again in 2010. So what you can do if you go map extraction and do a new operation and select for example displacement, say add all. We don't want the sphere, this is the eyes, so we're just going to remove that. And say okay, I want to extract between the bottom, which is the lowest level, and to the highest. So you can do that uh, normal new problem and say best guess for your extraction. Let's just say make this 4 for easy calculation and I'm just going to extract this as displacement for my creature and I'm just going to take this as to be 32-bit floating point. And I already extracted that to save time for here for the video but this is pretty much what you do. However, you can do something else now. You can do between level 2 and level 4. So that will be between this level and here. So your displacement was not going to be as strong, but the, I think that the reason that we uh, asked for it, or the reason I usually ask for it, because I can use that map to be as a bump map, as an ex enhancement on the displacement. So if I go to my image browser, you can see here, this is the uh, level between 1 and 4, which is the normal one that you usually would use. And then this is the one between 2 to 4. So as you can see here, it's kind of dim, but let me, because this is 32 bits, so I'm just pressing the plus key here, and you can see it more. Uh, let me fit again. And you can see here, a very distinct difference between the two. This is between the bottom to the fourth, and this is between two and four. So if I want to use these guys, I'm just going to drop this guy to a level zero, export that as OBJ, and I go to Maya. I'm just going to do file import. I marked it OBJ, marked a single object, and here's my creature. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use my mail script to bring my, uh, which is called the multi-channel setup mail script, it's just because this creature has uh, multi-tile UVs. Create and close. So these are now going to be assigned as a bump map. Now I'm going to try to render my creature and here it is. So this is the map that I used as a bump. Go to the polygon menu and say normal soft edges. So again I'm using the low poly and I'm just using a bump map on it. By doing that you can emphasize your displacement. I can now add the displacement as I used to do before but the point is now you can use a differentiation between two levels to be your bump map. Well I hope you guys enjoyed the session. I'm looking forward to talk to you more.